Hello everyone, Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today I'm going to show you the new version of Zoo that I'm playing. GVG came out today, unfortunately just on NA and my main account is on EU and so I'm not able to play on EU right now. And there's not much to talk about it since it's basically just a new version of Zoo that I'm playing in. And I'm pretty sure that this is already one of the better decks you can play right now. And I'm going over the deck list here. You play power, one power overwhelming, or I'm testing one power overwhelming since Soulfire was nerfed and it's not that strong anymore. But dealing four damage on turn three is very important now since they implemented cards like Spider Tank, uh, Ogre Brute, and yeah, there's like still cards like uh, the Dark Dark Cultist. So I'm not, I'm not sure how important this card will be, and uh, and how creative people will be with their deck so if you it's very if it's very important to deal four damage on turn three I might play Soulfire in the future but right now I'm cutting the card since it's nerfed it's not that good anymore. I'm playing a Prison Surgeons very underrated card it helps you trade efficiently you will have board control most of the time when you play since you are a zoo you will play minions on curve and have board control. Once you lose board control you lose the game that's how zoo is played. Uh, you play Clockwork Gnome, it's a very very strong card, all spare parts are very strong except the Taunt one most of the time and even that one might be useful. Um, it's a Death Rattle minion to buff your Undertaker and it's even a mech so if you build a mech tag so it's a very strong card, it's a one drop, Flamen's best one drop in the game, deals a little bit of damage to yourself, doesn't really matter since you play Zoo the games will end quickly anyways. You play Undertaker, it's the best scaling late game one drop in the game. You play as many good uh, death rattles as possible since you play the Undertaker. Void Walker, very strong one drop since you play cards like Die Wolf. Die Wolf also a very strong card. It helps you trade efficiently with all two drops or three drops even uh, together with the abuse insurgents. It protects your other minions like Undertaker as well against weapons and so and so forth and against trading. Uh, Die Wolf, very important, it, it helps you trade all the weaker minions with stronger minions from your opponents since if your opponent plays a mid-range deck or a con uh, late game control deck they will at one point play a very strong minion then you play Die Wolf and will be able to tra trade with your weaker death rattle minions efficiently with your opponent and get more minions out and a stronger board and so forth. How to creep out the best 2 mana death rattle minion, um, it is cra crazy synergy with the knife struggle and that's also the main reason why you play knife struggle, it's still very strong, you play many one drops, you do a lot of damage with this card, it's like a mini, mini miniature Ragnaros, it's a very important card for your opponent to kill. Um, X, a very strong AOE bot, uh, bot clear protection card, you will not proc the egg most of the time, except you know your opponent doesn't play a strong AOE like uh, Hunter for example. A Harvest Golem since it's a mech now it's like a ridiculously strong card. It's a free, um, the best free mana death rattle minion in the game and yeah it's a very strong card. It's very strong with the synergy with the Die Wolf and Beauty Surgeon to trade and with the Undertaker. I, I test Orca Brute. I'm not so sure if I play this card but it has 4-4 four, four stats for free mana so it's ridiculously strong and if you miss your opponent and go face it's most of the time not even too bad and if you uh, play Defend of Argus in the following turn to, to buff it to a 5-5 five, five taunt, your opponent has to deal with it anyway, so it's a very nice card. Uh, Piloted Treader, it's probably the strongest card in my opinion, um, uh, with the expansion, so it, sometimes you get like uh, crazy cards like um, Millhouse Mana Storm, it's a 4-4, four, four, or uh, even Succubus, or cards like that, even like the weaker 2 drops, you, sometimes you get like Haunted Creepers and stuff like that, it can auto win you the game. It's, it's a very strong card in my opinion. It's a death rattle minion. It's the best four mana death rattle minion. It has synergy with the Undertaker. I really like this card. And yeah, so I'm testing this card as well. I'm playing the Doom Guards. Um, still very, very strong. Charge 5 7, turn 5. You can't complain about that. And now you will have way less um, awkward turns where you're, you're stuck with Soul Fires and Doom Guards in your hand since you cut the Soul Fires. And Lord Tap, the best protection when you have bot control. You, if you, if you play Lord Tab and you have board control, you will most of the time win the game. Your opponent can't clear the board and you get two, two uh, turns to attack you in his face. So this is the zoo deck I'm playing right now and I really like it and I think it's very strong and I hope you guys like it as well and let's show you some games.